and comfy? Yeah, I think so. Good. Then I'll begin. <laughs> um, the first question I wanted to ask about the album, because I didn't quite get it, to be honest, having listened to it many times, was the choice of the title Alton-esque. Mm -hmm. um, and it's either in there and I've completely missed it, or it's a bit more obtuse than I think. So I wouldn't wondered if you wouldn't mind just explaining how you came to the title Alton-esque. It's probably slightly obtuse. It's not necessarily that obvious, even though the front cover is based on this collage that I made on my wall, um, which is directly a, a homage or rip-off from Joe Orton's walls in his flat in Islington, um, which were similarly covered in a collage of all sorts of plates and pictures that he and his partner had ripped out of library books, um, which they subsequently ended up doing time for um, in the end. I haven't procured my pictures by nefarious means, but maybe some of them, it's not all of them. Um, so it was more... So it wasn't that, that, that the, I decided on the title long before I decided what the cover was going to be, but just the, that's, the cover sort of came out how it came out because it just happened that way. It seemed to, it seemed to make sense, but the title I'd had knocking around for years, actually, years and years maybe 15 years and I could never quite decide what I was going to do with it but it was always it was a word that was always attributed to the, the, the plays of Joe Orton and his particular macabre black humour mixed with grotesque characters and um, very astute observations of real life and how it is and how you know ridiculous it is and that's why I, I love Joe Orton anyway. I love his plays and I, and I like that word. And I always felt that was quite um, something I was in tune with myself, lyrically and just generally my viewpoint on people and on life.